Conditional exception breakpoints in VS Code let you control when you break if an exception is thrown. You can use this to only break when a specific type of exception is thrown, or to actually only break when a specific condition in your program is met. Let's take a look at this in this simple JavaScript program. So here you can see I have my JavaScript program. I'm going to start debugging it with F5 here. This is a node program, so I'll say node. And you can see I've hit the first breakpoint that I manually set up on that first line. Now over here in breakpoints, I have caught exceptions checked. So anytime an exception is going to be thrown, it's going to pause. So I'll say continue here. Sure enough, it hit on that first exception that's being thrown here. It paused. When I say continue, it went down to that second exception. And it would break on all the exceptions that are actually being thrown. Now I'm going to stop debugging. And let's say we're only really interested in breaking when we see an exception that starts with the letter X. So in this second exception down here. I can use the conditional exception breakpoints to actually configure that. So go over to the breakpoints view here and go to the little pencil icon. And now I'm going to say error, which is the error that is going to be thrown. And I'll say starts with, and I'll say x. So again, we have a string value, which is the error in this case. And I'll say starts with x. And we're only going to break when that condition is true. So I'll say uh, F5 again to start debugging. It's a node program. So you can see I hit that first breakpoint. And now I'll say continue. And instead of breaking on the, on the throw here, it's actually gone right to the second one, because the exception breakpoint that we configured is only going to be true in that second condition down there. So we were able to skip over that first breakpoint and only break in the second one. Now, you can also use these exception breakpoints to only break when a specific condition in your program is true. So here I have a loop, for example. And let's say I only wanted to break in this loop when i is greater than like 100. So I could go down here and say i is greater than 100. And now when I continue, It'll actually go and continue until we hit an exception where the value of i is greater than 100. So if I hover over i here, it's 101. So it, is, it did not break on all the initial uh, loops through this, but when i became over 100, it started breaking. So that's a quick look at exception breakpoints in VS Code. Not all languages and debuggers support them yet, but they're super useful when you have a complex program that might be throwing a lot of different errors, and you're only interested in specific exceptions that are actually occurring.